Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial for setting up a dedicated server for Star's End. The current version of the server runs directly through the game, so for this to work you will need a second copy of the game running on a different computer than the one you plan to play on. The first thing we're going to need to get started is to have a MySQL database server installed on your computer. For that we will go to the MySQL Community Edition download page and download the installer which I have already gotten for us to get started and click that to get the install wizard started up and we can just click yes for whatever prompts come up to allow access And in the installer, we're only going to need the server and the workbench installed. So we'll go down to Custom and click Next. And then select the most recent version of the server and move that over there. And then in the application section, the most recent version of the workbench and get that over there and click Next and Execute to get those installed. And once those are done, we can click Next to move on to the configuration stage. The default values should be perfectly OK for most of these. We want to choose a secure password. And then click Next a few more times to get that all set up and running. And then as soon as we are done with this, it will work, open up the MySQL Workbench and we can get our database set up. And we will choose the local server over here in the Workbench. And then up here, we will click the little barrel icon to create a new database, which we will just call Stars End. And you can name that whatever you want. We will be changing the configuration file to that name a little later and then just go through the default values for all of this to get that started and then once that's made you can come up here and click this and set it as the default and now we are going to need to get the default tables which we will find on the stars in support.com page which has many of the same instructions that I'm giving you here and at the very bottom of the page a clean database file which we can download and open up that zip file and move this file to wherever you want it I'll just copy it straight to my desktop for now And then going back to the MySQL Workbench, we will come up here and we'll select Run SQL Script in the File menu. And find the file we just put on our desktop to open up. And make sure down here you come down and select the Stars End database. And then run that script in there. Now your MySQL server should be ready for the game to run. Next, we are going to need to set up the configuration in the game in your Steam page. You can go to the game and click that and manage and browse local files. And then find your configuration file in the folder here and edit that. And up here, you will want to change these values to your database name, whatever you chose for that. Localhost will stay the same. Root, since we didn't set up a user yet, will stay the same. And then we will type in our password here. 
the port will remain the same and down here I'm not really sure what this does but you do need to change it from 0 to 1 and then save that file and that should be all so we can close all this stuff here and start up our game now you run the game through Steam just like you would if you were playing and give that a moment to start up then over here you can select host and that will connect to your MySQL server or give you an error message if something's not quite right and you have a few different settings that you can change we're gonna leave it on the default for now and make sure your dedicated server box is clicked over here you can select your name and then just go right down to the play button and that should start it right up Alright, it looks like we are good to go. This page is all that shows on the server at the moment. You can press enter to open the chat box if you need to broadcast a message to your players. Other than that, you won't need to look at this screen again until you're ready to shut the server down. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you have some good luck getting your own server set up.